hard to think of it now, but that was a classic and uh, obviously disappointing to be on the other side of it, but uh, what a game. Yeah, good game. Um, you know, I thought we controlled uh, the entire thing. Um, unfortunately, didn't make the last one there, but uh, you know, as, as Bill Belichick says, it's on to Cincinnati. Maddie, tell me about that last one. What happened? I mean, you look confident going down. Did you think about the draw? And how close were you to making it perfect? Didn't really think there was a draw there. Out turn side was tight with them top four. In turn, we had to maybe scrape a corner, a different different path. Um, you know, I, I liked how I liked how I threw it. Maybe a little bit heavy. Um, just didn't come up. Missed it by an inch. Is this is all about having a second chance now. Is that the advantage of one two? Yeah, absolutely. That's what makes last night's win. Uh, as good, as good as it was, so, I mean, uh, yeah, it's on to tomorrow. Can you appreciate how great that game was? It was like a Federer-Nadell tennis match. The, game, the, the, the shots were so great. Yeah, I, I guess so. I mean, you, you expect that at this point in the week with the teams that are left. Um, you know, we're the, we're the three best going. Um, so, I mean, I, what happened tonight, I expected uh, nothing less, and, you know, we just got to come out and, and bring our A game tomorrow. Uh, we, you know, we played great against one of the best teams in the world and controlled the whole game. How's this team bounce back after losses this year? Yeah, uh, great. I mean, we, we haven't lost many in a row. Um, I, I can't remember off the top of my head if we have lost two in a row this year. So um, that's that's something we got to take uh, into tonight and, and onto tomorrow. What about your decision to not take your pair or what looked like a sure deuce in the ninth and blank that end? Uh, you know, tied up with is such a such a good scenario, especially when you got Colton Lott in the middle, making every double peel um, on God's green earth. So, I mean, felt very confident, tied up coming home. Maddie, you and Adam had a chat. What did he say to you after the game? On, on to Cincinnati. <laughs> you know, that, I mean, that's we, we have a decision to make right now. Um, we can we can fold the tent and go home, or we can take advantage of this extra life we have and come out guns a blazing tomorrow and win two games. Is there anything to be said about getting that one loss out of the way tonight? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think so. Um, you know, I, I mean, be, be, better now, obviously, than in the final. Um, but uh, I mean, losing losing still sucks, uh, regardless. Um, but uh, again, we'll we'll get back on the horse tomorrow. That was a classic. It must have been fun to win it, but it was a classic <laughs> just the same. That um, wow, that was a hell of a game. Some of the shots that uh, the match team made and some of the team uh, shots our team made were incredible. It was uh, it was quite a battle and. Um, yeah, wow, to, to steal the last end, we left Matt with a really difficult shot. He couldn't roll anywhere. He had to hit it perfectly on the nose and got the little bit of roll. And, uh, yeah, just the anxiety from the whole game kind of let loose after after he missed that. Uh, yeah, what a game. Holy smokes. What was it like to watch that last game coming down when you were in a situation of him winning? Uh, his last rock, you mean? Yeah. Uh, helpless. <laughs> I couldn't do anything other than, uh, you know, hope he rolled a little bit too much uh, to give us the win. And, you know, fortunately it, did, you know, it didn't roll very far, but he had to hit that so perfect. If, if I had bumped my last one maybe two more inches, I'm not sure what he would have done. He may, may have had to play the run back that they made, what, six times earlier in the end or five times. Um, yeah, what, what a game. Holy have sense. you played in a game, I mean, you've played in a million games that have been great, but have you seen one like that that's just heavyweight punch after heavyweight yeah, punch? Uh, it's, it's been a while. That was certainly, you know, different because they were just so good at those runbacks, like double peels they were making, the runbacks they were making. And, you know, I've, I've been in some of those slugfests where it's kind of draw angle, all that stuff. Uh, you know, that game was a little bit different. It was frustrating because we couldn't generate any offense or put rocks in play because they kept knocking them all out. If we gave them any sort of angle, they executed it. And, uh, you know, we, we just hung tough. You know, that's one thing I'm proud of. We gave ourselves a chance. Unfortunately, we got a miss from them at the end. Seemed like that was the only one he missed all game. When they blanked nine, what were you thinking? What's that? When they blanked nine, what were you thinking? Uh, shit, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but, you know what, uh, Ryan Harden put his two rocks in the absolute perfect spot. And I knew when he did that, we had an uphill battle. And, and if we pushed too hard, we were probably going to give up two or three. And, you know, it came to a point in that end where, you know, it, it's probably better to be tied up without than being two or three down. So we, uh, we took our chances and, and fortunately it worked. Right, number five is now within reach, one game away from your fifth uh, championship. Do you think about that now? No, now it's the uh, first off, you know, an opportunity for the, for this team to win our first. That's that's more what I'm, I'm thinking about. Um, you know, we're going to have a tough game no matter if it's Dunstone or Botcher. So, you know, we'll celebrate this one tonight, but as soon as we wake up tomorrow, you got to shift uh, shift gears and get ready for that game. And 
make sure we have a good practice tomorrow because we don't know what rocks we're going to be throwing at this point. So um, still a lot of work to be done. How much of an advantage will it be for you guys just having that a little bit of more rest tomorrow afternoon? Uh, I think the rest is important. I think more so the hammer is important. You know, you know, we couldn't wrestle that away from that in that game. And, and uh, you know, if we come up against them or Brendan, who likes to hit and play it open as well, uh, you know, if we can control the game at the start and, and get a lead, you know, I, I think it uh, improves our odds of winning dramatically. Brad, I wonder at this point in your career and, and just thinking about what it was like to go to so many briars and want that first one and maybe squeeze a, the rock too hard yeah. at times, and now to be at this point and know you've done it all and how much of that experience can, can be a difference in big moments. Yeah, it's, it's definitely different how I feel now versus how I felt 15 years ago. Uh, you know, I was remarkably composed in, in that game and calm, you know, me personally, you know, uh, I, can't, I can't not speak for anybody else out on the sheet, uh, but I felt really good out there, um, you know, and if I look back at being in that same situation maybe 15 years ago, I probably, the anxiety level would have been much harder, much higher, and uh, yeah, you probably overthrow a few rocks, and you know, to see the last shot that I made there, if, if I overthrow that at all, it was never there, and, and just uh, to throw the perfect weight, um, you know, I'm proud of that. Thank you, Jay. I guess your emotions and thoughts on a game like that. It was a slugger fest. Yeah, that was probably the best game I've been a part of this year in terms of how they played and we played and a little few little miscues here and there, but uh, so many amazing shots when one team felt like maybe they were you know, a little behind the other. There was someone made a great shot, whether it was Matt or Brad or you know me or Colton or BJ or Mark or the Leeds and Ryan and Jeff. Like It was just... That was some amazing curling. I, I bet you it was a lot of fun to watch. It was uh, probably a little more stressful being a part of it, but it was also so much fun because, man, what a game. And I think for either team, whether you, we won or lost, I know for myself, it was, you know, you take pride in, in how well both teams played in that game and, and knowing that you're need, going to need to bring that again tomorrow, whether you're playing in the semifinal or in the final. So I think both teams can take a lot of pride in, in the performance that, uh, that was put forth tonight for yourself does it feel like it's been a long time coming to get back into a briar final oh man it's been since 2015 uh, i joked with caleb i said this is probably the first time i've been in the real playoffs since 2020 in a three four game um won two games been maybe 2017 so when i joined this team this is why i said to the guys like this is why i'm still playing because I want to win. I feel like there's so much more that I want to do in this sport and the Briar being at the pinnacle of that. I'm only winning, only, not only, I, I have to take a lot of pride in winning a Briar, but I've won one and the last one was 2013. I want at least one more and hopefully we can make that happen tomorrow night. So this is huge, it feels great. How was it playing against your brother? It was hard, yeah. yeah. Um, it was hard. Okay. I want to win. Um, sucks. Sucks beating. Sorry. It sucks. It sucks beating them. Um, and I hope we play tomorrow. And I hope we win tomorrow. Um, but it's it's not fine. It's never going to be fine. And I can joke and say it's all good. But it's. I love being a part of this team. And and. Uh, but it, it's not, this is my brother and and my best friend. So. Um, I'm going to come out just like I did today and want to make every single shot and see us win and, you know, hopefully hug at the end of it and he's happy for me or I'm happy for him, but I want to win and, and hopefully we do that again tomorrow and I'd love to play them more than anything tomorrow and, and with the same result, but it, it's, it's not fun. Yeah, thank, yeah. You. thank you for that. Yeah.